Welcome to the Proofpoint Essentials How Do I video series. Today we answer the question, how do I view my quarantine? Now before we get started, let's learn the ways we can access our quarantine. Quarantines are typically sent via email. They can be sent once or multiple times per day. And within the quarantine, you have different options for each message. You can release a message once or you can release a message always. You can also access the quarantine through the user interface through a feature called email logs. Now, quarantine emails are maintained for up to 30 days, depending on the company's setting. Now, within the web interface, there are different options. You can release a message, which will send that message to you. You can resend the message if your company is using a feature called Instant Replay. You can also classify a message, uh, either identify a message as spam or not spam, or you can delete an email. Now, let's take a look at what your email quarantine looks like. Now, here you have an example of a quarantine digest that is sent on a daily basis. Here you can see there's a subject, so it gives you an idea of what the message is about, the sender is listed, and the recipient. And you'll see here, I can release the message once, which will automatically send that message to me, or I can release it always, which will whitelist this sender. In addition, there's a link at the bottom of the email letting me sign into Proofpoint Essentials so I can access the quarantine through the web interface. So I'm going to click on that link, Now when I log in, I log in to see my, my profile information about me or the account I'm using. What we care about is this button right up here called email logs. When I click on email logs, I'm going to see my email logs. There's a few options here. Uh, I can choose to look at inbound mail or outbound mail if my outbound mail is, is being routed through Performance Essentials. I can provide a generic time frame in terms of what message I'm looking for. I can select the type of message. In this case, I really do care about my quarantine, so I'm going to leave that as quarantined. I can also type in the sender's from address to address or subject. Now I hit the search button, and it's going to bring back all the messages in the past two weeks that have been quarantined. So here's an example there. You can see the from address, who was sent to, uh, the subject, the date, and how the system has categorized the message. If I want to look at more details, I simply select the detail link, and it's going to pop up here. It's going to give me information about the message in terms of the, the sender, the subject, how it was scanned in terms of virus or spam, and then some other general information. As a user, I can do a few options here. If I'd like to ensure that I always get email from the sender, notice I can select the option allow this address. That will essentially create a whitelist for me as the user to ensure I always receive email from this address. If I want to broaden that, I can say I want to whitelist the domain. So anything sent from that domain will always make it through to my inbox, regardless of how the Proofpoint Essential spam engine scores the message. There are additional options you can take on this screen. If I select the Actions drop-down, you can see I can release the message. I can resend it. I can tag this as not spam, which will provide additional intelligence to the spam engine to say this is a message that was inaccurately classified as spam. I can also classify this message as spam, or I can delete the message from logs. Now I simply check the message, choose the option, hit apply, and it will take that action. If I apply more than one, then when I check the action here, it'll apply to all, all the messages I've selected. If I'd like to look at all of the emails that have been routed to me, I can change the quarantine status to any and rerun that search. So now I'm going to get a much uh, larger report here because it's a list of all the inbound email that has flowed through in the time period I've selected. Any one of these options here are available to you as the user, so you can take a look at not just your quarantine emails, but all the emails that have filtered through Proofpoint Essentials. Thank you for watching the How Do I video series.